My name is Allison the Adventurer and I'm here to help spark your imagination and bring you on a music and yoga adventure. Now the last time I saw you, Wahoo Wind was whisking us off to our mystery destination and very soon we're going to find out where we're going on that mystery destination. Now if you want, today you can make your own Wahoo Wind sound effect. So here's what you can do. Go into your house, go somewhere, find a container. I just found this container in the kitchen. Then you can fill your container up with something that makes an interesting sound. So I have rice in here. So you could put rice, beads, whatever you want. So just take a moment and go make your Wahoo Wind Shaker. Okay, and we're back. And Wahoo Wind is going to whisk us off to our mystery destination. So you can stand up and twirl around the room, or you can roll along the floor with me while you use your shaker. Here we go. up to the sky. We've landed in the Valley of the Kings, which is in Luxor, Egypt. And we've landed right on the edge of the Sahara Desert. So there's sand all around us. And feel the hot sun beating down on your arms and on your neck. Let's touch the sand. Downward facing dog pose. Put your hands in the sand and step back. Look between your feet and feel the sand underneath your hands and your feet. Look between your legs. What's that I see in the distance? It's an ATV. That's a vehicle that we can drive. Let's drive through the desert. Sit down in your ATV. Lift your feet up and we're going to drive our car. Here we go. Can you make car sounds? Let me hear you. Uh-oh, what's happening? The car is stopping and it's totally stopped. Oh no. <gasps> We've run out of gas. Uh-oh. Hey, but you know what? That reminds me of a rap that I know. It goes like this. BFF. BFF. Can you chant that with me? It means best friends forever. BFF. 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 You keep that going. I walk through the desert with my BFF. Oh, gee, it's a cobra. We were so scared, so we acted like one. Nair, 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 nair. Cobra pose. Do you see that cobra that's here in the desert? Wow. So what we're gonna do is come on onto our stomach, bring your hands by your side, and press your hands down into the sand in the desert. And now we're gonna hiss. Take a deep breath in and hiss out. Very good. Now let's think about this statue that we're making. Is it high or low? I think it's low because we're low to the ground. Is it angular or curvy? I would say it's curvy because do you see the arch in your back? Can you feel that? And is it twisted or straight? I would say that this shape is straight. But if we were going to make it twisted, what could we do? Can you twist your legs? Cross one leg over the other. Ooh, now we're a twisted cobra. Very cool. Okay, let's go back and walk through the desert. Here we go. B-F-F, B-F-F. 
I walked through the desert with my BFF. Oh gee, it's a cactus. We were so scared, so we acted like one. Near, 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 near. Cactus pose. Stand up, everybody. Bring your feet out wide and bend your knees. Lift your arms up to the sky and now bend your elbows. Is this pose high or low? I'd say it's me like a medium pose because we're kind of somewhere in the middle. Is it angular or curvy? Well, look at all of these angles in your legs and in your arms and your joints. Is it twisted or straight? I would say it's straight because look at all of these straight lines. How could we make it twisted? Show me how you can make it twisted. All right, let's sit back down. BFF, BFF. I walked through the desert with my BFF. Oh gee, it's a tiger. We were so scared, so we acted like one. Near, 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 near. Tiger pose. Come on your hands and your knees. Lift one leg up in the air. And let me hear you roar like a tiger. Oh, very good. Is this high or low pose? I would say it's a low pose. Let's switch legs. Is it angular or curvy? What do you think? Is it curvy or are there more straight lines? I would say it's angular. And is it twisted or straight? I would say it's straight. Okay, let's keep going. BFF, BFF. I walked through the desert with my BFF. Oh gee, it's a cat. We were so scared, so we acted like one. Near, 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 near. Cat pose. Come on your hands and your knees. And arch your spine. Look at your belly button. And drop your head. Is it high or low? Good, it's low. Is it angular or curvy? I would say it's curvy because look at your back. And is it twisted or straight? What do you think? I think it's straight. Okay, sit back down again. BFF, BFF. I walked through the desert with my BFF. Oh gee, it's a scorpion. We were so scared, so we acted like one. Near, 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 near. Scorpion pose. Wow, there are so many interesting creatures in Egypt. This is how we set up scorpion pose. So downward facing dog, and then lift one leg up in the air, bend your knee, stack your hip, and then flip over for scorpion. And then you take a deep breath in and stick out your tongue. Ha! And then come back over to downward facing dog. Can you try it on the other side? Lift your leg in the air, bend your knee, and flip all the way over. Be mindful of your shoulder joint and your elbow. And then reach back, stick out your tongue, and say, ha! Great work, everyone. Now you're going to come up with your own creature that you see in Egypt. So everyone, I want you to think about a creature that you could see walking through the desert in Egypt. Did you think about what you're going to do? So you're going to insert the name of your creature and make up a cool shape to show what it is. Are you ready? I'm going to watch you. BFF, BFF, and here you go. I walk through the desert with my BFF. Oh gee, it's a... We were so scared, so we acted like one. Near, 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 near. Wow, I can't wait for you to write me and tell me what your creature was. And maybe you could even draw me a picture of it. 
Now guess what? That wrap brought us all the way to the pyramids. And there's a sphinx guarding the pyramid where King Tut lives. So come onto your stomach and bring your forearms down on the ground. This is called sphinx pose. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Let's stand up for pyramid pose. Bring one foot forward and leave the other foot back. Reach your arms up in the air. Fold forward. Pyramid pose. Drop your head. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Stand up. Now we're going to go inside the pyramid. Let's pretend that we're walking through the pyramid and we're going to use our hands on your lap like this. This is called patch. You're going to patch. I'm not scared. No, I'm not scared. Ah, because it's really dark in the pyramid. Do you see the torches on the wall? I'm not scared. No. I'm not scared. Ah! And smell that. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. It's really musty smelling and it's damp. I'm not scared. No, I'm not scared. Ah! But we don't really have to be scared because we're all together and we're in this together, right? Okay, let's keep going. I'm not scared. No, I'm not scared. Ah! <gasps> Look at that in front of us, everyone. It's fire. Fire is blocking our way. Get your sound effect. Can you make this sound? The fire is floating. Can you show me how you can float your arms? Can you show me how you can float your legs? Could you even float your whole upper body? Oh wow, very good. And now the fire is punching. You know how the fire, it, it looks like it punches and it's coming out in every direction. Show me how you can punch your arms. Show me how you thrust your legs. Maybe you can even thrust your head. Oh, and look at that! It's little sparks. Sparks are coming out of the fire. Can you spark your arms? Show me how you would make a spark or a flick. How about your legs or your feet? Can you flick them? How can you flick your shoulder? What else can you flick? Oh my goodness! Will this fire ever go away? Can you float again? Show me how you float. Maybe if we take a big breath and ask Smiley Tree to help us, the fire will go away. Let's try that. Everyone sit still, hands on your knees. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Smiley Tree, please let this fire go away so we can keep moving. I think, I think the fire stopped. Look around. Oh, the fire has disappeared. Let's keep going. I'm not scared. No, join in. I'm not scared. Ah! I'm not scared. No, I'm not scared. Ah! Oh my goodness. It's a bunch of cobras. There's cobras all around us. Can you see them? Cobra pose. Come onto your stomach and lift your chest up towards the top of the pyramid. Take a deep breath in and we'll hiss out. Smiley tree, please help us get through this. Take a big breath in everyone and hiss out again.
Come on your hands and knees. <gasps> I think that the cobras have disappeared. <gasps> look at that, we did it. <gasps> and look over there, it's a bridge. Let's go over the bridge. Bring your feet flat on the floor, lie back, and now press your feet down into the ground and lift your hips up. Bridge pose. On the other side of the bridge is King Tut's tomb. Let's stand up and explore the tomb. Bring one foot forward and the other foot back. Reach up. We're exploring King Tut's tomb. Here we go. This is King Tut's tomb in a dark and dusty room. Now look by your foot. There's a torch. Pick up the torch and lift the torch up in the air. Hold the torch up there. Hieroglyphs everywhere. Move your torch around and look at all of the hieroglyphs that are on the wall. Hieroglyphics are the ancient way that the Egyptians would write. The sarcophagus, it is waiting here for us. The sarcophagus is how the ancient Egyptians would bury their dead. Stand up. We can see the king. Point at the pretend king that's on the ground. Who is covered up in bling. Look at all of the golden paint that is covering the king. And there's jewels, and wow, this is how the ancient Egyptians buried their dead. Make this shape with your hands, and bring your hands upside down, put them on your face. We look in his eyes, oh my goodness, he's alive. <gasps> Everyone move your hands together. What's that sound that I hear? Get your Wahoo Wind sound. It's Wahoo Wind, ready to whisk us off on our adventure. But we're stuck inside the pyramid. How are we going to get out? I know a way. We're going to slide down and out the pyramid. Are you ready? There's a window. We're going to hop through the window. Three, two, one. Woo! journey to Egypt. We landed in the Sahara Desert. We rode an ATV, but then we had to walk the rest of the way and we saw a lot of interesting creatures in the desert. 
Then we arrived at King Tut's tomb and we explored the pyramid. Finally, we saw the hieroglyphs on the wall and we saw King Tut's sarcophagus. But then Wahoo had to whisk us back home underneath Smiley Tree. Let's just take a moment and thank Smiley Tree for sending us on these amazing adventures. Take a big breath in and out. Now come to a seated position and sit with your hands on your knees and sit up nice and tall. We're going to end our adventure with three big balloon breaths. So bring two fists together and we're going to take a deep breath. Inhale, inflate the ball and breathe out and bring it back together. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Now repeat after me for our final Namaste song. The light in me. Your turn. The light in me. My turn. Reaches out, reaches out to the light in you, to the light in you. Namaste, namaste. Great work, everybody. That was our adventure to Egypt. And listen to that magical sound. What is it? It's a scoop of magic. Grab it and put it on your shoulder. There's another scoop. Get it and put it on your shoulder. And there's one more scoop of magic. Grab it and put it on your shoulder. And now you're ready to go out in your day and you're ready for any adventure that comes your way, including this one to Egypt. Make sure you share this adventure with your family and your friends and so they can be part of the magical fun as well. I'm Allison the Adventurer and we'll see you next time.